Hello everyone, hope you're well. I'm back from my, what, four-day holiday with my friends in uh, Axminster down in Devon, round Devon. I can't remember if it's Devon or Dorset, I think it's Devon. Uh, I feel really different. I feel really like, I think the stress of thinking I was going to get COVID at any moment and I wasn't going to be able to go uh, went away once I'd got there. And then it just felt like, oh, okay, I've got all this brain space and nothing to really worry about. And uh, yeah, I feel really good. I feel like I drove so far so much uh the week went really quick as, as it would because we were just having good times but uh, i think the stupidest thing i probably did with the drive-in you all know i've got uh, you, you've heard the the tales of me getting lost on the way to london going to the wrong westfield well this time um it's not too stupid but i literally pulled up to drop my mate off and my uh, petrol alarm went off telling me i only had a few miles left and i was like oh god i hadn't even considered that i needed petrol to get back i'd literally driven all the way down there driven all the way around all the places we went to, driven all the way back. And I got to Hitchin and it was like, oh, you need to fill up. And I was like, oh, well, do, you, do you know where there's a petrol station? Like I had, if it hadn't have gone off, I'd have just driven off home expecting to make it. So yeah, I was quite lucky there. But other than that, a couple of wrong turnings where it was saying to me, like turn off. Or it was saying like, ignore this turn off and carry on driving. And I read it as turn off. So I'm turning off and then driving around the houses thinking, what the hell, why did it send me here? And it was only like after I'd done that twice that I realized that, yeah. That's what it was supposed to be telling me. I basically switched to Google Maps because Kev had been lecturing me on how the one I've been using is out of date. But Google Maps has its own little foibles that I need to get used to, basically. Um, so before I go into that in more detail, last video I was ranting my head off about Scottish Power. Um, they, they they ranked in total, before they actually dealt with the problem, they rang me 18 times chasing me for the debt that I owed them on the account. And the debt on the account was there because they hadn't been taking the payments from me. So... All in all, I wasn't very happy with that. They promised they would take, after call number 16, they promised they were taking me off their call list and then they rang me twice more and I just hung up on them. But then a uh, complaints lady rang me, literally just took my bank details and said they'll set the direct debit up. So I was like, well, what? Like, why did it need to be you? And why couldn't person number one have done that? It was really weird. So that's all done and dusted now. Thanks for everyone who was tweeting them on my behalf and helping me rant at them. I think their social media team were a bit bemused because they were messaging me going, you've already been rang by the complaints person, but you didn't answer. And I'm like, yeah, well, I'm on holiday. You know, I, I did answer. Anyway, it's all good. It's all sorted. Um, I'm still not very impressed with them, but eh, like it, it was just a big stress. I feel like all the big stresses were solved by like Friday once I'd driven down there. Um, so yeah, we spent the weekend in, in Shroot specifically. I think it's called Shoot or Shroot. Whichever is not the one from the office. It was Shoot, I think, which is next to like this big, it's almost like a castle, but I don't really know why there's a castle in the middle of shoot. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, we we went we went on a couple of walks. We went on a walk that was supposed to be to two, visit two castles down there. When we got to the first one, it was just an empty plot of land where a castle once stood. We walked around the moat of this non-castle, uh, climbed up a few hills and stuff. It was all very dirty and, you know, get, putting my hands down to climb up something or climbing under a fence and stuff like that. Stuff that I absolutely don't do because I'm very much like, oh, I don't want to get my hands dirty. So by the second walk, I was kind of getting used to that. I was like sloshing through sort of marshy, swampy bits in my boots, which I was assuming I was going to have to bin, but looking at them, they seem quite good now. And they seem to have survived. They were like walking boots built for this purpose, but I was like, oh, they're going straight in the bin. Um, I I think the worst bit was putting my hand in a stinging nettle. And I was like, no. And as you can imagine, that was just tormenting me then for the rest of the walk. Well, for the next like half an hour, because I was just like, my hand just feels like it's on fire. But we we did lots of cool stuff. We we walked through a sheep's field and found a sheep with his head stuck in the fence. My mates helped it out while I just stood there thinking, I should have filmed this, really. But I wasn't sure what the legalities of them helping was. I was like, I don't know whether they would have got in trouble for, like, tampering with a, a stock animal, even though they were saving it. I don't know. I was just like, you can just imagine good deeds going punished. Uh, we walked through a cow's field where I was really worried. For, I'm worrying for my life thinking cows kill more humans than sharks and my mates on facetime to his daughter going look darling there's a moo moo look at my moo moo look it's just behind me there's a moo moo and i'm like mate this feels like every horror film ever you're just letting your guard down as far as possible while one in the background is just going mer, 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 like a like an alarm this cow was just like an alarm for all the other cows that was watching us and i was just walking through thinking i did say to them if anything they're all gonna smell like meat they're gonna and i'm gonna smell like vegetables so i was like if they want to eat one of us they're gonna go for me but if they want to attack one of us they're gonna go for all the meat eaters so i was like it depends what i don't know how cows work i don't know what makes them attack humans but i was like hopefully the fact that i 
only eat vegetables means that they'll see me as a non-threat. But if they smell the fact that all had bacon and pork and whatever, bacon and pork, they're the same thing. Bacon for breakfast. Um, yeah, maybe they'd have gone for them because they were meat eaters. They're more of a threat. But uh, I'm trying to think what else we really, you know, we, we were just walking and walking like to the point where I think we'd done at least 12 kilometers on one day. And then we stopped at a pub for a Coke. And my mate was like, I'm getting a taxi back. I'm knackered. And I thought, now I'm going to walk. It's only another two miles. I'll walk it. It was two bloody miles uphill, like a hill like that. And all of my friends were like at the top of the hill waiting while I'm just going, oh, God. And I'd made the mistake. On the first day, I made the mistake of wearing the heaviest jeans I own. And I was like, oh, I must wear shorts next time. But then I decided because it was a bit chilly, I'd wear lighter uh, jeans and a jumper. And then like 10 minutes into the walk, I was like, I'm so hot. I'm melting. I feel ridiculous. And everyone was saying to me, well, just take your jumper off. And I was like, I haven't got a T-shirt on underneath this. Like, I would have been far too hot with both. But um, yeah, all this walk, I was just dying of overheating. And <laughs> every time it was a hill, I'd fall apart. And every time it was a flat, I'd be like, oh, I feel fine now. I can walk forever. And I mean, they all said they were quite impressed. We all thought I would have I would have collapsed at any point. I'd have, you know, absolutely bailed out of the walk at one point or another. But I saw it through. I walked the whole thing, hatched a lot of Pokemon. I think that's what kept me going. <laughs> hatched a few eggs. But uh, we went down to... Uh, what was it? Lion, Lion Regis? Is that a place? Sounds That sounds made up, but I think that's where we went. Um, I was trying to find a fossil for Ollie, but I did find a fossil shop, but they were like dinosaur fossils. And I thought, well, he's, he, while he'd love a thousand pound fossil of a dinosaur from 65 million years ago, that's not quite what I was looking for. I just wanted to get the little fella, a, like a little bug in a, in a stone. So um, yeah, I didn't get him one in the end. But uh, yeah, it was just really nice. We, we, we essentially got like, a few well probably about 150 at least beers i was trying to work it out i was like i remember i went to the shops to buy 40 and my mate was like maybe we want to get another 20 at least just to be safe maybe even more and we were like now nah, let's just get 40 and then buy like and this was like i don't know five o'clock and by eight o'clock we'd ran out of beer we were just i mean it was eight of us so i mean it was seven of us to drink beer and we were just like right what do we do and the guy one of the guys hadn't been drinking so he drove out and bought another couple of crates and we were just like, they ran out really quick as well. <laughs> we're like, what on earth? Like, how are we getting through so many? And I was thinking like, I suppose, you know, 28 beers would have been four each sort of thing. But I felt like we were just hammering it. We, we, I, I realized on the, on the Sunday, I'd only drank like orange juice for breakfast and then I'd had nothing but beer the rest of the time. Um, because they're all meat eaters, I'd been having like egg and toast every, every breakfast meal and cheese pizza for every, um, every uh dinner meal they were having like meaty pizzas or whatever but it was just easy for me to have a cheese pizza and like i'd just be like eating bits of that thinking all i've eaten is pizza and egg and bread and all i've drank is beer 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 mixed it up with like a bit of pepsi max at one point because i thought i don't know if i can trust the water here i think i managed to someone told me we're in we're in the uk you know it's all safe i'd spent two or three days thinking i can't trust the water don't know how it's used and my mate was like we're in the uk all water's fine in the uk surely so I had a glass of water and I thought, okay, now I feel a bit more human. But um, God knows. I mean, driving home, I was knackered. Like the moment I dropped my mate off, I was like, I need to ring Claire off. I was I'm just going to fall asleep. I was so like, I can't handle this journey. It was so long. But I just feel really like I've had a blowout. I just feel like all of, uh, I don't know. It's really weird, isn't it? It's like I didn't have to get up for the, even though I didn't have to get up for the kids. I don't really get up for the kids anyway. But um, Ollie texted me every day asking me to unlock his bloody iPad for Roblox. And I, kept I kept telling my iPad to unlock his permanently for the weekend but every day i had a message from him at eight o'clock dad can you unlock roblox and i'm like yeah all right i thought we'd be pulling claire's hair out if he doesn't get it um but I, then i'd just stay in bed till like 10 and stay up late the next night and stuff like that we just stayed up chatting reminiscing telling stories catching up on lives you know learning things we didn't really know about each other even though we've known each other for i mean i've known most of these guys since i was maybe 11 some since i was like three so yeah quite a lot of history there and even then, it was still like, okay, I didn't know any of this stuff. Like, this is all stuff that's happened in the past decade where I've been preoccupied with my own problems. So, you know, they got caught up on Ollie. It was quite funny talking to them because they were asking about Ollie and I was saying, well, you know, they were like, what is, they were kind of trying to understand autism. And they were saying like, how, they were like, how, they, they didn't know, they were like, how autistic is he? Like, what's the wording on that? Is that the right thing to say? And I'm like, well, they don't really level it. I'm not going to say, oh, like, he's a level seven autism or whatever. He's not evolved. He's not Pokemon, you know. Um, so I was kind of just saying he's essentially as socially awkward as I was growing up. And they're like, you weren't socially awkward. And I was like, come on. Like they just remember it all as me being really naughty or me being a bit silly or whatever. 
And it's like, no, 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 as adults, we know that wasn't normal behavior. They didn't do any of that stuff. They just thought I was a bit of a tear away. But Ollie is exactly like how I was when I was his age, except he is a bit braver about being, I can't forget the right word. I guess because he's an older brother, he's got a bit more like, I'm the older brother, I'm a bit of an alpha, whereas I was a bit more of a, oh, I'm just going to get upset and moan about everything. And because I had much older cousins who used to be like, we're doing this. And I'd be like, all right, cool. And I'd just be like led by them. It's only as I've got older, I've been a bit more in control of things, where it's like, yeah, Ollie's just used to being the older brother. We're going to watch this. We're going to play that. And Ben just goes along with it because he's the little one. Um, and I guess he's just had that personality at school. Whereas, yeah, that's pretty much the only difference. I was just as naughty, just as reckless, just as silly. You know, there were so many random things my mom had to put up with over school that they laugh about. And they don't realize that that's just really, that's just how, I mean, they were joking about this stuff. I was making a list of them to put on my list of things. They were like, how was school when I was filling out my forms and, that I was just looking through their stories, thinking, right, well, that happened, that happened, that happened. And it's like, yeah, this is a lot of evidence that suggests there's, you know, school was not all it, all it should have been. Um, speaking of school, Ollie's had a, a decent week from what I'm told. I come back and said, any problems? I said, nope, there's been no issues. He was a bit silly over the weekend, but only because I think he was missing me a bit and just getting a bit carried away. Claire was a bit worn out by how rude he'd been to her all weekend. He kept just repeating her and stuff like that. And I sort of said, I think he's probably just acting out because... He knows, well, I don't know, maybe he's just feeling a bit sore that I'm not there and it's making him take it out on her a bit. But she was just she was just tired when I got back. She was just a bit like, look, they've just been, well, he's just been cheeky to me all weekend. And I immediately was like, if you're going to be cheeky, I'm going to take your iPad away. And he was like, sorry, oh, <laughs> sorry, mum. You know, and he's completely changed his tune. Um, we had a couple of shocks. Uh, ben was sent home on Friday, on uh, Thursday or Friday, and told to get a COVID test, which was clear. Um, Emily had a friend who got a positive COVID test. So she had to have one. That was clear. They both went for PCRs. They were both clear. Um, I got pinged on Sunday telling me I'd been near someone who had COVID. And I was like, well, I've only been near my mates and none of them have got it. They all did tests when we got back. I've not done a test yet because I don't have any symptoms, but my friends did tests and they all were negative. So it's just like, oh God, it's circling us all. It's like wagons, you know, we're, 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 we're being circled in and enclosed. I feel like it's, I really need to stay healthy. I want to go to Comic-Con at the weekend. I need to just get that out of the way and then COVID can grab me on Monday and I'll just book some time off and recover. But yeah, I'm just like, I don't want to get it yet. I need to go to Comic-Con. Um, I, I can't talk at the moment because it's all a bit fluid, but Comic-Con's looking quite exciting as well. There's some stuff that um, I will, yeah, I'll talk about it more in a week watch this space but uh yeah i trying to think what else we really had happen it's just been a really blurry couple of days like just I, I feel i feel nice though i feel like it has been just like there was no you know there's never really that many arguments or anything like that my, my mate joked we normally have a bit of a blowout at one point where we clash on something but we just we just didn't we were just all really happy to see each other and catching up and you know it was funny if anything we actually discovered some misunderstandings from the past that were good it was just it was just mad it was just really nice i just like yeah 10 out of 10 <laughs> you know it's just completely a great weekend and i want to say to my mates let's do it again let's let's book the next one let's i mean one of my mates is having a baby which he kept he'd waited to tell us when we were there which was obviously gonna put everyone in good spirits like i'm really excited about that even though like he's already got a kid it's like it's just exciting um, i realized that my mum and my sister and my dad will be watching this going which mate's having a baby why haven't you told us um, but i only found out on like friday um and yeah that's just really exciting so that's cool uh so that does mean though that we'd need to make sure we book something well after that i was sort of like let's just book something for for january but the the, the baby's due january so we can't now you know and i was thinking like let's go again tomorrow let's just go away now and it's like really want to see him again already but no i'm just feeling really positive i i feel a little bit tired of course like i i haven't walked that much in not, not even two years probably more like three four five years i've not walked that much and i've not had proper late nights like that in years i've probably not drank that much in a long time like even going out with Ke kevana and pab don't drink so like m <laughs> me having as many beers with them as i did with my mates that, that i was away with at the weekend um would be inappropriate if i was to do that at comic con on saturday night They'd be like, what the hell are you doing? You can't drink. <laughs> like, we're just trying to have a couple of uh, Cokes and a, and a quick meal. And I'm there drinking sort of 15 drinks or something. Um, so it's weird because I never once felt drunk. But looking back at all, all the empty tins and bottles that were lying around at the end when we were filling the bins up, it was like, okay, most of them, 
most of these specific ones are me. I was smashing them or, you know, looking at the different piles. I was thinking, my God, how do, how am I not ill? It, uh, I mean, one of my mates was like stupidly hung over. He had to get trains back across the UK. And he was just like, I, I've not felt this terrible in years. But no, I just, I think I was just on such a high. None of it really affected me. But I mean, that guy's a little bit smaller as well. I think the bigger lads were just like, yeah, pack it in. Let's <laughs> get going. Um. So yeah, I think that's everything. I'm going to wrap up there because I feel like I am just waffling now, but we were all good. Um, we've got Ben's parents' evening later, so we're going to find out how he's doing in his first term at school. They have told us he runs at a million miles an hour. Um, that's something I did want to talk about, actually, briefly, is that we think that's because in the morning he gets rushed out the door to drop Emily at school, then they rush out to the door to get them both to school, and then they're kind of rushed home for dinner, bath, bed, and his whole life around us is just rush 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 even you know i don't really know why it's just one of those things we haven't really thought about it but claire and i would say maybe we need to really slow down what we do throughout the you know the day and just not make his life so hectic because when he's at school apparently he just rushes around like everything's a million mile an hour and we just need to teach him to slow down bless him um, everything else seems cool i imagine we'll have a catch up with the head at some point i did have a call with the head i mentioned before the head seems intent on trying to get Ollie back to full-time at their school. But, I, I mean, he's doing full-time tomorrow and the next day. But it's kind of like, it's full-time wandering around an orchard looking for bugs and stuff and not full-time sat in a classroom and learning about things. So it's it's a hard one because I'm like, yeah, cool. He gets to spend all day with his classmates and, you know, I don't have to pick him up at lunchtime and he doesn't have to just waste a away playing like games in the other room. But it's still not an education. You know, he's not like sat in the classroom learning fractions or decimals or whatever random thing they're learning in year four i mean that might be below year four but i don't it's hard to know what he knows and doesn't know and what he should know and what he needs to know now because i don't know maybe we should get him one of those year four catch-up books i mean i don't know if they even do them i know they do them for like gcse catch-up don't they but i don't know if there's such a thing as getting like a year four curriculum book and getting him to work through it but that could be the answer i've just like solved that problem myself in my head there while i was talking um, but yeah, I'm going to wrap up. Hope you're all well. Let me know how your weekend's been. Let me know you're getting on. I am streaming tonight. My plan this week for streaming is tonight I'm doing Minecraft. So Tuesday's Minecraft. Wednesday, I think we're doing Back for Blood, me, Kev, Anna, and Pab. And then I'm going to stream Thursday. Um, do you know what? I'm not sure if it's Thursday or Friday I'm going to stream because we're not doing a podcast this week on Friday. I need to clarify with Claire what she'd prefer because she watches like the last leg and stuff like that on a Friday. And I can either sit and do that with her but feel like I'm wasting my evening <laughs> or I can play games on Friday and Thursday watch other programs of her and catch up like we've got a few things we need to catch up on so I might see if I might I think I'll do we uh, Tuesday Wednesday Friday to make it a bit more a broken up but b it it means I can catch up on stuff so yeah that's what I'll probably do and I do think I worry a little bit I messaged a couple of people saying I was going to do Tuesday Wednesday Thursday but hopefully that won't derail anyone's plans anyway right ask you a lot I'll see you on Twitch later if you're about. Um, let me know your weekend. You know, update me on your things and bits and bobs. And uh, just, yeah, comments below, likes and all that. And I'll catch you soon. Cheers. Bye.